What's up everybody, Brett Medlock here. Today I want to talk about a possible Wario Land game coming, along with Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, maybe or maybe not getting a physical release, and also Dragon Quest XI is not coming to Switch at the same time as other platforms. <laughs> Let's jump in. So today is going to be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to go over a few things that's in the news around the internet. And one of those things is Wario Land being trademarked by Nintendo recently. This trademark was among eight other trademarks, but all of the other eight, they're pretty typical because they're games that we know are coming, like Metroid Prime, Luigi's Mansion, stuff like that. But Wario Land stood out among the pack because of the fact that we haven't heard anything about a Wario Land anytime recently. We do know that there's a brand new WarioWare game coming to 3DS, but there's still no word on a Wario game coming to Switch, and that's what I'm guessing this game is going to be. Which I'm a little sad about because I really love the WarioWare games, and I feel like with the Switch hardware and all the cool stuff you can do with the Joy-Cons and whatnot, it's the perfect game to play on Switch. So with a Wario Land game, it's going to be more of like a 2D side-scroller like the other ones are. I personally haven't played much of the Wario Land games. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the WarioWare series. I've played insane amount of hours on GBA and DS. But when it comes to Wario Land, I'm a bit of a noob. But be sure to let me know if you like the Wario Land games and if you think one is coming in the near future. Of course, trademarks and patents come and go all the time and nothing happens. But it's just really funny to me that this is the one game that got trademarked that we haven't heard anything about. In other news, in an interview with Suda51, the brains behind the No More Hero series, he was asked if the game was going to get a retail release. And weirdly enough, he said maybe that Grasshopper Games is handling the publishing. I thought this was a little odd because when this game first got announced, I was like, of course it's going to get a retail release. It's No More Heroes. It's a big deal. But uh, I don't know, maybe No More Heroes isn't as big a deal as I thought it was. I personally love those games, and I'm super excited for the next one. I was a bit bummed out that it's not like a traditional No More Hero experience. It's more of like an arcade mini minigame type collection, but I'm okay with that. I'm excited to see more of Travis and more crazy characters that get introduced in this game. I'm hoping that we still get a traditional No More Heroes in the future, but until then, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes is going to hold me over. And I'm thinking, of course this game's going to get a retail release. I mean, I can't imagine it doesn't, but just the fact that he said maybe I thought was kind of weird. But anyway, lastly, I wanted to go over Dragon Quest XI not coming to the Nintendo Switch when it comes to other platforms. And that really sucks because there's been a lot of games that have been making it to Switch, but unfortunately they're just not hitting the same date as other platforms. For example, Wolfenstein 2 not coming to the Switch the same day as other platforms really made me sad because it was a really big deal that that game was coming to the Switch. And it makes it seem like that it's not day and date with the other versions, that the Switch is somehow not as important. But with a game like Wolfenstein that's graphically demanding, it makes a lot of sense. They probably have to make some sacrifices do a lot of weird stuff with the Switch hardware to get it to run on there properly, stuff that I don't understand. So here's what Square Enix had to say about the matter to IGN. We're also developing a Switch version from Europe to North America, but development is expected to take a long time from a technological standpoint as well, so we will have a long way to go until it releases. A long way to go everybody. That really sucks because Dragon Quest, the series, just feels right at home on a Nintendo platform. Obviously, it still has a home on PlayStation, and it's also coming to PC on September 4th, but the fact that we have no date at all for the Switch version is pretty upsetting. I've recently become a fan of this series. I was late to getting into it, and I was excited to jump into it on Switch, but it looks like that won't be happening, at least not anytime soon. That's all I got to say, though. Like I said, be sure to let me know if you would want a Wario Land game on Switch, or if you're super bummed out that Dragon Quest isn't making its way to Switch this year, at least presumably not this year, and of course do you think Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes is going to get a physical release and I think of course it is it's No More Heroes it's a big deal it's a big deal right yeah exactly this has been the Nintendo news block of today thanks a lot for watching I'm Brett Medlock if you want to see more of this ugly mug be sure to check out Xbox enthusiasts PlayStation enthusiasts and sometimes I'm over on PC gaming enthusiasts as well thanks a lot and I will talk to you guys later